Hello my dear Cancer, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between November 1st to November 15, 2017 with me Queen of Cups Tarot. Uh, I now use the Spellcasters Tarot with Melanie Mar Marquise illustrated by Scott Murphy and I will start shuffling your cards. So, um, good opening. Uh, I call the Divine with Love and Light. And I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And I call the six elements. Uh, <laughs> earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today. And to give us a clear view reading for my dear Cancer viewers. So I want my dear Cancer to have love in their lives. And to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. So, my dear Cancer, I also want to take the chance to tell you that we will have the full moon in Taurus, the 4th of November. And uh, Sun moved from, uh, from Libra to Scorpio on October 22nd. Mars and Venus is in Libra after their kiss in Virgo on the 10th of October. Venus is leaving Mars behind, moving into Scorpio November 8. And um, Jupiter and Venus is conjunct on the 13th of November in Scorpio. Uh, Jupiter moved uh, over to Scorpio the 11th. Of October. Uh, we will have the new moon in Scorpio November 18. Mercury moves from Scorpio to Sagittarius the 5th of November and Sun moves from Scorpio to Sagittarius on November 22nd. Saturn is moving direct in Sagittarius and we will have a conjunction of Saturn and Mercury on the 28th of November. Pluto is moving direct in Capricorn. Neptune is moving retrograde in Pisces and will station November 23rd, move direct again November 24th. Uranus is moving retrograde in Aries. Okay, so that's what's going on. Um, the cards is very connected to the uh, ast astrology or astronomy. <laughs> uh, so, uh, therefore, uh, I'm telling you a little bit, mostly for me to know a little bit more better to interpret the cards, but also for for you uh, to see these specific dates and see if something um, special is happening on those dates, okay? Uh, so I will just tune in for a few seconds. So my dear Cancer, uh, this is your future. Uh, this is your now and this is the past. The past is probably the um, October 2017. Uh, the now is the first half of November. And this, the future, is the second half of November going into December. Okay, so the first card for you uh, from the past is Seven of Cups. So Seven of Cups is talking about um, insecurities, not knowing, not being in the know, being kind of left in the dark or having so many options you don't know what to choose. It might be a, a feeling of being in a swamp. <laughs> Sometimes it can be like always finding yourself back into this darn swamp, okay? The same kind of yucky feelings. Uh, so how do you end up here? Usually you end up here with the seven of cups, not knowing anything, not being sure on anything uh, because you don't know yourself. Uh, so uh, cancer uh, is going on a journey to know themselves. So you won't have to end up in this swamp anymore uh, by your own uh, self knowing and therefore knowing better how to act and react and how to, yes, act and react together with other people foremost, uh, to not uh, be put in the position of feeling I'm not loved or I don't know if I love this person. Uh, when you get to know yourself, you will also become more, more sure. Uh, your feelings is a big clue to getting to know yourself. Uh, sevens are always challenges. So this is a challenge, an emotional challenge that comes <laughs> with... 
at the speed of lightning kind of okay like an ace of wands so it might be that someone has reached out to you or something has moved forward very quickly and it's a challenge for you emotionally it's it's a test uh, so i hope you are ready for it this was in october for some of you watching now uh, in October when I'm doing this I'm doing this on the 18th of October you might still uh, get a pre-warning here or or maybe I caught, uh, caught this in your latest reading but here it comes a message uh, that wants to test you it comes some new energy a movement forward it might be a dream as well that you have sometimes we have big dreams and we want them to be fulfilled and and when we 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 are not able to well, we end up in this swamp again, feeling like, well, I will never have the thing that I want. Uh, there's no idea. Uh, I don't have to hope even. It's I will just, you know, lay my <laughs> me down here in this swamp and just stay here forever. Uh, so the Ace of Wands is actually coming with new hope. Uh, it wants to engage you again in something that you might think like, nah, this won't ever uh, end up good because of your experience life experience has told you this uh, so probably it won't uh, and probably it's just a test okay it just wants to test if you can if you can keep balance of your emotions when when things are hitting off like this uh, the next card is the hero font uh, so the hero font is talking about society hierarchy uh, religions, beliefs, and uh, knowing. It might be like scientific knowing. Uh, people that have spent their whole life uh, deciding upon a certain theory and that's it is right. They have written a lot of books in this subject. <laughs> they have invested like the whole co career in their su this subject. They are not going to change their mind even if they are like proven otherwise that there's uh, uh, there's other things underneath the sun than what they have presented and it's the same with religion if you have become the pope of a certain religion you're going to fight for that religion's survival even if you have big proofs that it's uh, very, um, not making people happy it's the same thing if you are the head of a certain company or a head of a family or you just rule a certain relationship you don't want to lose that power you want to have people still uh, subordinate to you and believe that you are you know uh, the thing <laughs> uh, that she, people should listen to uh, so uh, we see here it's a, it's a square box and it has this um, this cross on it it's the same on his uh, headgear uh, so it's the red cross it's uh, it's known um, for the first time what I know uh, like for the first time it's known by me it's from the uh, it's from the <laughs> crusades okay uh, so they are not really here to to help you you can think that they are here to help you but mm, yes okay red cross doing an amazing job i'm not going to take that away from them uh, and uh, i am often supporting the red cross but uh, we need to know our history before we we jump into something okay so i think that this is you need to know your history how have you been ruled before how had people in authority uh, or people that you love or people that try to engage you how have they like make it all go south before how have they made you feel worthless okay uh, so uh, I'm really not sure where this is going, but it seems very interesting. Uh, I'm not a Cancer. I was supposed to be born a Cancer, but I was born a Leo. So I'm more actually uh, feeling that I'm uh, a Cancer than I'm feeling that I'm a Leo. But I just didn't want to get out of this, this world here. <laughs> I said, no, I don't want to. So I stayed and I didn't become a Cancer because of it. So I became a Leo instead. Here you have the Ace of Swords. So this is the challenge here that's presented to you. You have both an Ace of Wands and an Ace of Swords. Uh, and um, in between you have like the ruling elite. Uh, so this is, um, this is power. It's masculine power. You have the Ace of Wands, Fire, Ace of Swords. Uh, trial by fire or trial by pain. Just because it burns doesn't mean you're going to die. It's um, blood, sweat and tears, victory at last. 
so your emotions are being challenged by some kind of ruling elite in your life. It doesn't have to have real authority over you. It's just that you have given it power and authority. Um, if I should interpret this in a more positive way, uh, despite the blackness of <laughs> these cards, uh, I would say that this is the time for you to take authority. This is the time for you to show leadership. This is the time for you to be a teacher. This is the time to show people that you mean business. Okay, uh, so the Ace of Swords. Uh, when we're faced with this kind of challenge, yes, we can hesitate. Yes, we can think like, well, I don't want to do it. Um, for many of you, it might come through a message from an authority. Uh, so we will see what, what about this message. Um, or for someone that wants to be, be in power and control. Okay, four of wands, so that's nice. <laughs> so this um, authority of power of con and control, they want to build something with you. Okay, a new foundation. Mm? But they will still be what they have once been. Okay, they won't have changed. I'm sensing that this might be some kind of nightmare from the past returning and maybe wants uh, your love. Okay, uh, and it's a test and it's a test of your self-love, like how far have you come? Will you uh, be able to keep yourself balanced here or will you fall back into the swamp? It's okay if you fall back into the swamp. This is a great big test here. Uh, so if you feel like everything that you felt once before all over again, like... Uh, oh, I'm back into these kind of emotions, then... It's perfectly all right. Just know that you're not going to stay in this state forever, except whatever is. But know also the reason that the reason to your emotions getting all mixed up is because you are supposed to balance yourself back into this state again, like four wands, self-love, self-dignity, self-respect. Uh, so even if you're faced with uh, some kind of authority that has like a great emotional effect on you, uh, try to stay balanced and calm. And again, it might be something that you have really dreamt of. Dreaming is also common with the seven. Uh, you might have had uh, like a daydreaming or night dreaming that has been intense about some kind of new beginning um, that wants to actually make you, uh, how can I say this? They want to make you into um, a very emotionally mature person so whatever happens around you you won't even blink you will be cool about it you will be able to keep your feet on the floor and be able to act very rationally and very loving also uh, also thinking for the greater good of everyone um, so it seems like cancer has gotten a lot of power to your proposal or to your um, like you have a lot of power that you can use and um, uh, but it's going to become with a certain kind of twist um, like someone immediately forcing you to use that power and to show yourself worthy that you have learned a lesson of self-love um, being able to build this platform in your life uh, so with the four of wands it might be marrying of course as well but not being sure if this is the right candidate okay it's like something wonderful might have been presented to you but you also recognize like this is a challenge it's a shadow it's something uh, it's not just you know it's not just red roses it's not just that they're promising you a rose garden and um, it's um, when love comes to your life uh, you should follow it even if the sword that's hidden underneath its wings has the power to hurt you because love is not only here to crown you it's also here to drag you down to the deepest <laughs> wounds of yourself so you will be able to heal and you will be able to become the highest version of yourself so you're asked to be the highest version of yourself here and not be afraid of any kind of um, authority or person that has like the power over your life and your emotions. 
so but it's marriage here in both those so there's some kind of bond here between people and it's a new beginning a brand new beginning but it's uh, with weapons you know it's with um, very strong elements of, of fire and and sword uh, so it's it's not going to be like this paradise state it's a challenge this okay uh, so that was in the past and here we have the now yes nine of swords you're kind of back to where you started um in this not swamp anymore it's like a little bit more cold but you can see the sun is shining really brightly here so you know everything you just don't understand why uh, and um, <clears throat> the sun is shining on your back and the source here the pain is in the shadow uh, it's caused by something it's really hard to you know determine what really happened like why do i feel like crap now and and the, the answer is in the um in the things that weren't really presented the things that was kept in darkness, the things that could be read between the lines, um, the, your own knowledge about how things usually end up, uh, experience, uh, your own experience. So it's something that might be like right underneath your nose uh, and it's tormenting you, but you really don't know why, what, what is this? So usually when we are in this confused state, we have been confused by maybe an offer that has been given to us or an action from uh, another entity. Uh, something has happened uh, like in the mix between uh, people and energies uh, that might not be really clear. A person might come uh, showing the best intentions, but having a really dark shadow. Uh, so nine of swords is being victimized. Don't be victimized. You are strong now. You can take this challenge. You are not a victim. Uh, you might have the feeling of a victim, but you're not going to let anyone hurt you ever again, because now you have the experience. You have been here before. You know what to do. Okay. Uh, so, Nine of Swords. Uh, uh, some of you might be dealing with a fire sign, no, fire sign or an air sign, okay. Or you might have fire and air in your shirt. This might also go on internally within you, uh, that you have a great shadow and you try to be like all good. You don't want to know anything about having any shadow. Um, you just wants to do good and be good and and that is creating like a bigger and bigger bigger shadow for you you need to keep things real like whatever is is if you feel uh, in logically dramatic and angry about something you tell people I feel very angry with you I know it's not logic but I will find out the reason and for now there's no idea <laughs> like that we are doing this or whatever it is it's um, you need to acknowledge what you feel because your your feelings your subconscious has a like it's really intelligent it will know things that you can't uh, um, calculate even in your um like if you really think but in the, in your wildest dreams you would be able to figure this out but it will come in codes so this is it's something that's a little bit like distorted it's not it's not uh, like up frank it's coming in codes so you need to figure out this code and here you have the high priestess as well the high priestess is a little bit um uh she's uh, she's a better card to be honest uh, this is male spiritual growth and this is female spiritual growth. I'm not putting in too much value in this with masculine and female. But for right now, uh, the masculine, they are a lot in their shadow. They're trying to be good. They're trying to be good. They don't want to acknowledge the demon within. And therefore, the demon be within becomes really large. And I think the story behind it was that I think that females were like this. Like, um, imagine maybe like long long time ago thousands and thousands of years ago the females were like kind of the dragons they knew mysticism they knew how to put a spell on you they knew a lot of crap they can use against you so they were like dragons and you know we have um in sweden we have a fellow na named sankt Göran, <laughs> sankt Göran. <laughs> um uh, and he was killing the dragon we have him in many churches uh, so this is this entity 
identity and it has become stale. It has become rigid. It doesn't ever, ever want to become like the dragon. And therefore it's building a big, big shadow behind and becoming like the dragon. Oh, yes, this is what's happened when we are not like fully aware of our total self that we are both. Uh, darkness and light we have both those things within us so we need to be able to express i'm very angry you don't have to tear uh, your house apart or be violent or anything you just have to acknowledge i'm very angry i'm going to figure out why but i'm very angry right now i will take a walk uh, so this is better than to no i never get angry and then you know swoop the, the house with your wife and kids that's your shadow that's the shadow so um the females they have <laughs> they have been you know hanged for the cross instead of jesus i think that is females that have been hanging for the cross for a long long time so we know this with turning the other cheek by now uh we are not we are being very careful with creating havoc in people's life normally there's a lot of females doing bad uh, crap as well but maybe it's like 80 20 or if you, we should go uh, over the statistic from uh, people doing violent crimes, maybe 90% guys and 10% girls. But anyway, we uh, girls also have a shadow, but it's a little bit more visible. We know crazy, okay? We feel crazy every month. This is the high priestess. She's in tune with the moon. The moon is her planet. So we know crazy. PMS, it's crazy. So um, whenever you feel like a little bit PMS, either you're a guy or a girl, you just stay with the pain, like here. You just stay and meditate on this pain uh, because you want to see it. You want to have it visible. If you just uh, act like there's no pain, I don't feel anything, I'm always cool, I, I never cry, <laughs> well, then you will end up with a big, big fat shadow. So don't do that. Stay with the pain. This is like a hermit energy. It, it's connected to the nine, nine of swords, trying to figure things out out like why am I angry why am I sad you don't have to build any stories just feel it in your body the wolf here that's the shadow <laughs> that what that is what the divine masculine has hidden inside their shadow and that's why they're so scared <laughs> okay but I like this this is the wild man the, the man that uh, when you acknowledge that uh, what's within you uh, you have like focus on it and awareness of it and you can use it for good things like you can protect your family instead of being the monster inside your family that's two different things okay you can use this divine masculine wild man um, the shadow side to do very very good things now we see in sweden for example um uh, people are killing off the wolves, okay? They are killing off the wolves. They don't want to acknowledge. And it's people like this killing off the wolves because they don't want to see that they have a shadow. And for the sake of the wolf, I hope they recognize their shadow pretty soon uh, and start loving it, okay? Starting to love the dark sides of you because they are there to be used uh, in special, special occasions. Uh, like the wolf needs to get food to the family. Fine. It doesn't need to kill their own family. That's the difference okay uh, so here we have the high priestess and the high priest so that this is male and uh, and female spiritual growth uh, the female actually never lost uh, the connection to um to the earthly grid uh, when we when we were in the full state we were all connected uh, to earth and mother nature and and we could hear the whis whispers of the trees and we can feel our own feelings and everything and then we went into the magician. We woke up with a left side brain, uh, a logical mind, and we can start to calculate things. We could more clearly remember the past and, and also calculate the future. Uh, so mm, males in that moment lost, um, lost the connection with the grid. Okay, they lost their spiritual connection and they needed to, they didn't hear the animals anymore. They didn't, they needed to hear like, um, God speaking from them from on the outside. So they needed to build churches and temples and, you know, try to reach God again. And one guy, he said, well, I'm, I have connection with God. He probably faked it. Uh, and everyone were listening to him because he was the, the man talking to God. Uh, females never lost 
this connection because still having uh, their feelings, still being able to uh, to feel their intuition, to uh, feel their instincts. So they re never really lost this. And why? It's because it was divided. Like the masculine got the left side brain and and like the <laughs> being able to calculate things, and the females got the right side brain. Uh, being able to be very creative and random and um, living a, like if a guy wants to uh, connect with God, he needs to start to paint or feel his feelings or um, uh, writing music is good. So you can always have connection with your um, with your uh, um, divine side, but it needs to go to your feminine side, like the um, the side where you have your language, for example. Uh, females are very articulate and they also write very nice. <laughs> so a man that has connection with his female side would also write very nice. Uh, but it's nothing wrong with the masculinity. It's just that they are so darn scared of, of their wolf, okay? They are so darn scared of the uh, this... Uh, dark side of them because they remember the dragon <laughs> they remember what they did, needed to do with us uh, to stop us from wrecking the world kind of or having blood sacrifice every halloween <laughs> so please please stop this it's not good uh, no we shouldn't sacrifice our children so and then they they stepped into the light and they forgot all about that they themselves had a dark side. And here we have stepping into the light. Okay, so we do this again. We step onto the light, but we don't forget that we have a dark side. You know, the sun can shine all so brightly, but it's always creating a shadow. And those shadows are really hard to see. It's very hard to see your own shadow. You need to have someone else pointing out uh, it out to you. So it's very good to have this kind of relationship. Two people on a spiritual path really trying to grow really trying to figure it out one might think that they have all the answers and doesn't want to look inside uh, the other one is a little bit autistic to be honest and you know uh, just <laughs> listens to their feelings one day they are happy the next day they are really sad and one day they love you next day they don't so they are both having their problems these these guys <laughs> okay or girls <laughs> so with the sun here it's uh, fire again it's um, usually leo but it's also connected to air because uh, in this particular sun card it's gemini and we can see this also on rider white that this gemini uh, leo the planet of leo is the sun so it's not really a planet it's a it's a star uh, but uh, gemini is being visible here because when you see things really clear you also have a big shadow you can think that you are on top of the game like uh, what people thought when they went out from this paradisic state, got a logic mind and they think, well, we are above the animals. <laughs> okay, so they started to create this big shadow for themselves, thinking that they were above something, that they were more than something. Uh, so, mm, but the light is anyway the answer because, uh, you know, you can turn around, <laughs> you can jump up and down and, and make the shadow being seen. Um, you can um, use the light, whatever being exposed to light will self become light. You can take like a candle into a very dark wardrobe and that will make it uh, like more shiny in there. But you can't take the darkness of the wardrobe out in the sunlight or out in uh, the light of this candle. Uh, it's not going that way. So everything that's uh, exposed to light will self become light. So uh, awareness and attention is the key. Also to the things that feels really bad or bad behavior, like tell people. You see here, Ace of Swords together with the sun. Even if it hurts, tell them. And I'm not meaning like tell them you look fat in those jeans. That's um, that's abuse, okay? I don't mean that. I mean more like uh, I see what you are doing. Uh, you are hurting me. Uh, I don't want uh, us to continue our relationship in this way. It's destructive. Uh, I want us to solve it like this instead. Can we do this? This is shedding light on things like also telling I'm angry, I'm sad, I'm upset. I know it's not logical, uh, but uh, currently I'm feeling like this. Mm? Uh, and you just stand by yourself with self-respect and honor 
so this is how you build bonds between people, real bonds. They don't have to, you know, be afraid of your shadow anymore because you yourself have your shadow in open daylight and you can tell them, well, this is how I feel. Uh, and they will know you, you are not trying to hide or fake or you don't lie to yourself anymore either because some of you might have what I see here, um, either you are abusive <clears throat> or you have like a person that's abusive, uh, maybe a little bit like with narcissistic tendencies, like this, tell this truth, like you look fat, uh, you are overdramatic, uh, whatever it is, and they tell you because they want power over you. Uh, so um, have a little hope for these people too. Uh, they, they really don't know what they are doing. It's like what Jesus said forgive them because they don't know what to do i don't want you to forgive them per se like put some distance between you and this person but see what they are doing uh, see it when you see it even if it hurts really bad when you see it uh, you will be able to heal uh, yourself to start with and then it will spread like rings on water here and you see there's some kind of flash there i'm thinking that this is connected to the ace of swords there someone is getting some kind of epiphany here uh, so that's good. Okay. And we have the Ace of Wands also. Um, a lot of energy there. So this is actually the two highest energy cards in the whole deck. And you have them uh, together with the High Priestess and the Hierophant. Uh, so that's rather significant. You're on, on a, this is your soul coming through here. And it wants to shine the light on um, uh, this... A male part of you that's currently in the shadow it needs to be outspoken you need to tell a person uh, it's um when nice people are quiet um like people that's uh, uh, a little bit like humped up on power they will you know steal the show so nice people shouldn't be quiet <laughs> okay you should speak up uh, <clears throat> and here we have a seven of pentacles so this unfortunately is going to take some time uh, this is not going to be fixed like with a miracle one day and this flash of insight and they then people you know they know and they get it no they won't get it <laughs> okay this is a plant it needs nourishment to grow and uh, so this is going to be like a teacher's work uh, it's going to uh, you know you need to invest time into this you need to have patience both with yourself and other people uh, this um, rift between the male and the female uh, has been here for at least twelve thousand years it won't be like healed in an afternoon uh, so you need to have patience with this uh, you know blood sweat and tears victory at last and also boredom it might be a factor here like you want something you want it now you want it to be fixed and it's not going to be fixed not in one day it's going to take a little bit of time it's almost like a pregnancy and underneath the four of wands we have a four of swords so when we stick up for ourselves and love ourselves that might mean that people will uh, shy away from us uh and um, that is why we don't stick up for ourselves. We don't go into conflict. We don't tell people what we really think because we don't want them to turn away from us. But what they are doing when they turn away from us is that they ponder on what we have said. So don't be afraid of this distance between people and, and having to tell people something that might, you know, jeopardize your relationship. Uh, I'm feeling there's a lot of things going on in families specifically. Uh, people... Uh, are not used to you cancer being like more um, shining this bright and <laughs> maybe telling you know things that you see uh, and and that might provoke them and and they feel like oh uh, he has become like so difficult we can't uh, um, I, I can't stand hanging out with him anymore <laughs> so um, it's okay okay it's fine let people walk away from you. Um, let let the, the, the ropes that bind you become split like this. It's totally fine. Either they learn or they see also your side of things or they won't. It's not up to you. You can't control this and it's not personal. It's not about you. You are expressing your true soul, your true want, your true need, your true experience. And they either love you for it or they don't. 
uh, people here will kind of split like Eckhart Tolle said like oil and water if you're not um, to be together you're going to split some of you are going to split for a while and then come back when the person uh, on the other side might have thought, thought about what you said or you thought about what they said and, um, and the four of swords is, is a kind of peace from war but it's not real peace it's more this kind of peace when you don't talk to each other uh, so people might, uh, uh, when you are coming here with self-love and self-appreciation, they might meet you with silent treatment and you will feel like, well, well, no one will ever love me. Don't take it personal, okay? And you can't control other people's level of consciousness and you can't heal a 12,000 year old wound in one afternoon, as I told you. This will take a little time, okay? It has already taken a lot of time, but it's not going to fix today. So you see, you need to have patience here. Um, uh, something happened here. Uh, something like one, uh, maybe someone started a new game with you or try to, you know, convince you like we will live together forever. It will be so nice, but you ended up feeling like crap and like you always end up feeling. But now you know why. And you know this with the power game. Some people can't, uh, if they can't connect with the divine through themselves, they need to have their supply from you. Okay, they need you to cry so they know that you love them. They need you <laughs> to run after them and like, why are you acting like this? <laughs> they need you to do all those things because this is how they get their energy. It's like they become vampires the time when they cut off the grid with... Uh, the connection with the earth and everything. Uh, and after that, they needed to feed, have power. So power is like a currency. And as a cancer, some of you cancer might be really like into this dark shit here. <laughs> Sorry, but some of you uh, will be like, but I'm just giving love. Why are they being mean to me? And that's because they, they don't recognize love. They recognize power. They get energy from power. You get energy from love and connection. You want those bonds. They are important for you. But because of those bonds and those being important for you, they've been able to kidnap you and make you like subordinate to them uh, so you will be able to keep their love and the bonds between you the the, the bonds between you doesn't mean a, a living thing for them okay it doesn't mean anything they it's easy for them to break these bonds with you so you cross watchers this might be a cancer doing this to you or you are doing this uh, to someone uh, else <laughs> okay so either it's being done to you or um, you are doing this uh, so severing the bonds is so easy because you're cold and detached and and you don't feel the spiritual bond that we're all all connected we all come from the same source and and the more the merrier you don't feel that it's easy i'm just like this uh, people uh, with a big ego uh, and um, they have practices their survival skills to cut off people when it's getting like um, uh, difficult I'm, I'm too like this actually <laughs> I, I have been like this for a long time because I couldn't uh, communicate my truth so people never get to know me because if they did something wrong I was out the door uh, so uh, four of swords is when people are being called and <clears throat> and detached and doesn't want to communicate with you uh, because they can't tell you how they feel. They don't know how they feel. Uh, they are so <laughs> whimsical with how they feel because how they feel is the most dangerous things ever. They have the enemy within them. Like the biggest enemy is how they feel. They want to be logic. They want to be like on top of things. They don't want to feel hurt. Uh, and they always want to do like the right thing, the most justice thing, the most like the good thing. And they don't like how they feel. Like I want to do this good thing. I want to act like, you know, yes, do whatever you want. Uh, you are a free person. But really they want to say, no, uh, I, will, I would like to go with you. But they can't because they have this moral value, uh, hero font of... Like, this is how people should act. This is the rules. Uh, so a person could uh, also um, <laughs> say like this, I want you to be free. I never want to control you, but I'm feeling very sad if you're leaving without me. So that could be the truth. 
Uh, so and, and people doesn't want to expose themselves like that because they have an ego and if if that person was said okay yes but you are not as important for me so I will leave you and maybe you are here when you when I come back or maybe not uh, that would hurt like age okay uh, so uh, that's why we are not opening up uh, but when we become strong like this for once we love ourselves we love ourselves with other people. We love ourselves when we are alone. It doesn't really matter. Yes, we want to be with that person, but we also acknowledge that we don't have control. And if they don't like us equally much or doesn't like invest equally much in us as we do in them, uh, so be it. We let go of control. We don't own people. We can't rule our life situation. We can only rule our own, like what we put into the mix, like how we handle things. So you can say, okay, I'm very sorry. It seems like we don't have the same. We haven't invested like equally much in this relationship. I love you more than you love me. Uh, but I let you go now. I sever the bond between you and you are free. Uh, so... Uh, you told them exactly how you felt, but you also did the right thing. Mm? But this is going to cost you. Uh, it's going to cost you. But the only thing it's going to cost you is your ego. And when the ego is gone, your soul is taking place. And it's going to take much better care of you than the ego was ever able to. The ego did a great job up till now, but it's outdated. You don't need it anymore. Your soul is going to whew, stop stepping here. So then you're not going to be this scared little entity in a very uh, foreign world and being afraid of going outside a cave because a mountain lion or a wolf might take you. Uh, so you're going to be like, okay, I will go out. I will follow my instinct and I will either make it or I won't. Uh, because you know that life is eternal and your energy is eternal and uh, you don't control things, okay? You don't have this control. Hmm? Uh, so it's whatever happens is fine, okay? It's hard to imagine, but whatever happens is fine. If you can get to that knowledge, you will be free and you will be able to let people do whatever they want and you can express yourself freely and it won't cost you. Uh, because you won't mind what happens. You are just minding being truthful and honest and keeping it real. Like being the soul that you are, uh, not trying to be someone that you're not. Uh, so future for cancer. And here we have an ace of cups. <laughs> so finally, <laughs> that's good. Someone is finding their heart. Someone is finding out what it is that they want. And for some of you, yes. You love this person, uh, even if they are having a super big shadow and, you know, are super controlling and <laughs> doesn't really love you or whatever. You love them. So it's fine. That's not a contradiction either mm? because you love their soul. You love them because you come from the same source. So love can be there. Your heart is big enough to have room for uh, loving more than one person you can see this when you get a child and ace of cups can be the child this is the father mother the holy ghost <laughs> it's the child the spirit uh, so when you get a child you feel like oh i can't love anyone more than i love this uh, this is the love of my life as a mother you will feel like that often and uh, not always there can be wounds there and traumas and it's not your fault it's nothing you control it's not personally against that child or against your bond together uh, so but then you get the next child and you feel the same and and it's just building more space in your heart so love relationships can be like this family relationship is definitely like this but love relationship can be like this too you can love a person for the rest of your life and not having anything more to do with them you will probably meet them when you are gone from this world uh, but don't try to um we that's why it's so hard to we're trying so hard to fix relationships and bowing our head and be someone that we're not because we know that this love connection it won't go away <laughs> so we try everything but it's okay the love connection can be there and they can still go away it's fine and you can meet a new person and fall in love with them and and both people can be there or 10 people can be there uh, so it's fine and uh, you want to be loyal to the one that you are together with. And, and this is, um, it's a moral standard that I really like with people. If they can't be truthful, 
they need to be people that's uh, equally like the same that also wants uh, you know multiple relationship you shouldn't go with a person that wants commitment and betray them that's uh, that's like the worst thing you can do it will <laughs> collect a lot of karma for you someone will do the same towards you you will also lose like this and be backstabbed so try to not do this uh, to people sometimes it's really hard if you are in an abusive relationship uh, you might want to meet someone else to get you out of there uh, but really you are the only one that can get you out of there just see the truth with the situation and the truth here is love deep love between the hierophant and the high priestess uh, from the source actually the high priestess she has never been uh, disconnected this is her dress you can say this is her antenna this is how she feels the vibration of everything and she feels uh, her hero font coming close she knows that he's there she's feeling a disturbance in the force <laughs> maybe she's starting to bite her nails or you know oh i have a weird feeling in my stomach <laughs> what is going to happen it's like a dread and and then he's calling you or she is calling you because this can easily be a he as well like um, uh, uh, a girl can take on the masculine parting on her shoulder. Maybe she was um, her father's girl <laughs> and she's becoming very masculine and, you know, never crying, never being like a sissy, <laughs> you know. Uh, so this can be a male that's being like this and having the connection and knows everything. And the girl doesn't know squat because she has all her feelings stored in a big uh, barn somewhere. And here we have the seven of wands. So this is giving a lot of power uh, to uh, this high priestess. A lot of power to stand her ground uh, because uh, this energy loves herself. She's not afraid of her feelings. She's not feeling like, well, oh God, I'm a drama queen. That's bad. No, that's good. Okay, I'm feeling everything. I'm, I'm the antenna. So it can be like this, that uh, someone is the black sheep of their family because they are the antenna. They are the one that feels everything that the other people deny. So now you are in self-respect of this. You don't deny yourself. You don't deny this aspect of yourself. You are standing before it and fighting for it uh, you're standing your ground yes i'm a drama queen that's fine exactly so from me you will hear the truth uh, because i have the connection with uh, the ace of cups here so i love myself they don't need to listen either they do or they don't she doesn't care she's a little bit autistic you remember <laughs> yes no and um, the hero font here, he has this uh, powerful light here, but it's, um, it's like with Gemini. It's one side that fights for the good and one fights for the evil. So here you have, he tries to be all white, uh, but underneath he's all black because he is not integrated. And the, to shine the light, to see the truth of this is the only way to integrate your shadow. I've already been telling you this, so I don't need to go so deep into it. Whatever it gets exposed to light and truth will self become light. So uh, some kind of addiction might resurface, like come up, or you might have to fight with the devil for the sake of love. Uh, that might be it, like a person coming uh, with their authority and it seems like they have all their things together. They are very clear and smart and intelligent and, um, and they are like this master manipulator. Like the magician <laughs> so um and you are being cool with it because you you stand your ground you are grounded and mature um self-love you are not going to shake so much when this comes and here's the lovers so you know the devil 15 one plus five is six the lovers so it will take time blood sweat and tears but this person is is your person okay this this love is coming from your soul um, and as I said, uh, you might love this person a lifetime and they might never resurface because they are still stuck in this whatever it is that will take so much time to figure out their shadow. They are so afraid of it. But the love is there forever and ever. Okay, it won't go away. This is the gravity that keeps us all together. 
uh, so lovers so you can know this that the love is there it's real even if the other person won't acknowledge it and you can't force them to acknowledge it you can you can't you can't force them to see the truth you can't force them to feel the love that you both are sharing uh, you can't force them to do anything you can't force them to stay with you just let them do whatever they want but be sure to tell them the truth before they leave uh, and here we have the eight of cups so it might be that they leave yes okay uh, and they leave and you will feel sad probably but you will remember this with the four of wands that you love yourself and you are not going to sell this higher form of love for having a tainted form of love that's not real and where they don't feel it okay so it's just uh, we can be an addict to a person being like a little bit abusive to us uh, and, and that is probably um, one of your problem, Cancer. Um, but it's because they hold your shadow. There's the shadow to your light. Uh, that's a song. And I uh, felt it also maybe with, with Leo. It's possible. Uh, so, um, let them go. Uh, let them go. Uh, it's totally fine. Eight of Cups means like you have already given enough to people that didn't give anything in return. So it's not going to be anything here. Like it will be nothingness until uh, this entity is ready to give something in return. Not just like live on the work on other people's backs. Okay, so I've been talking way too long. Um, but um, this was intense reading for Cancer. So, uh, my dear Cancer, I will see if I can find some cards for you from the Astrology Reading Cards by Alison Custer Lambert. Uh, so, uh, um, some astrological cards, shards, <laughs> cards, sorry, showing you uh, what's going on in your life currently. Okay, this one. So, we have a Capricorn here. Capricorn's the devil. Uh, the energy around you is serious, materialistic and hardworking. It bestows shiftness and cautious ambitions. So this is how we are uh, used to the world working. If we are good people, uh, if we are working underneath the boot of uh, authority and capitalism, <laughs> we are going to have our rewards. So we keep our head down and we work. We do it good and we are like being able to show off. Uh, some productivity out of this and people can say oh that's a CEO or that person really have their like a really nice car uh, so this is the worldly things like the things that you are attached to because you can't feel your source energy so you need uh, a person that sits on the streets begging for like a little bit of rice can be the most happy person on earth and this person here can be the most unhappy okay they have that car they have that shiny job and <laughs> they have everything but do they really have what you want okay do they are they happy uh, and here we have aquarius Let's see oh i put all this um uh, upside down so aquarius is um this is energy is freedom loving rebellious idealistic and technological uh, so it's an uh, it's this left side brain uh, very highly developed so like a scientist kind of person but still maybe trying to solve problems in the same way that they were once created like well if we have a problem with um, like climate change uh, maybe we can block out the sun and we put out all these aerosols in the air and it will block out the sun but mm, oh it it poisoned all the waters all the frog died mm, the snakes too oh humans died too sad so they are solving sometimes the problems in the same way that they were created uh, and here we have the second house your assets finances and the thing that you value uh, so some of you are really working for the man or the person that you are uh, like trying to have some kind of love relationship with here. They are thinking that money and value is more worth um, <clears throat> and they don't understand that love is more worth than goods and gold. OK, that love is all there is. You can't take with you your riches when you die. Uh, so uh, the masculine has another type of uh, karma I told it in the last Sagittarius vid video uh, not the last but that one that was for the last part of October you can check it out uh, so it was just like this like if a person 
weren't able to provide for his family in a previous lifetime. Maybe they died from him. They, they died of starvation or he couldn't save them against some kind of enemy or something. Uh, they might have got obsessed uh, with like building fame and fortune. They can't even have a relationship before they have like built this uh, financial status in their lives because they want to be sure to be able to provide uh, f for the feminine so girls can be like this too or if you are a man this can be your problem that um, you can't have a relationship before you have your shit together <laughs> oh uh, so um, ponder about that uh, and here we have this um, this energy it's cancer energy is emotional sensitive caring loving it may concern family mother or child uh, so this is the energy that I told you about, uh, this Ace of Cups, that this is what's lying underneath it all, uh, this love, this connection to the grid, uh, the connection to paradise, it's still there. And then we have Mars, uh, the physical energy, drive, strength and fighting spirit. So this is the, um, it might come a suitor that's coming to tell you, well, I finally, you know, got a job, I have my shit together now, now I can provide for you, now we can be together. And you are like, no, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want this torty figure coming back and working like a slave for me. I wanted a true connection, like... Um, but okay, for some of you, uh, maybe there's going to be positive news, like of a person not uh, anymore riding your back and because we have these kind of guys also giving it up and you know just having their mothers do their laundry and um living on other people's backs okay uh, they don't want to work at all because they have a big fat karma of working themselves to death maybe building the pyramids or whatever uh, so it can be very different things for different um uh, cancers but it seems like this with the masculine is hitting you rather hard uh, either as your shadow or as the shadow to your light like a person that you are dragging along with and um, it was something else yes uh, Taurus we have Taurus there uh, this is Leo Gemini uh, this is um, moon <laughs> okay uh, and this is Capricorn and you have here Capricorn Aquarius we have a lot of swords uh, energy here uh, and you also have cancer and mars so this is significant energies in your life right now and i will take also um, oracle of visions by sir romar Kelly. came like an attack <laughs> i got scared <laughs> okay <clears throat> yes okay uh, so this is the book smart person like you know they have their thing together because they have studying and they have control and um, they are afraid to breathe okay they need to do everything by the book and work really hard and be exact they can never do a mistake they can never do anything wrong they can okay it's very hard to live like this you are like your own prisoner mm, so that's hard and here we have <clears throat> this nah, it's it's about finding the piece to the puzzle of who you are and and this is this road here uh, finding the piece of the puzzles to who you are so every time you get hurt or every time something new is happening it's like you're getting a new piece of the puzzle and you will finally find yourself and what happens when you find yourself you'll find love because they are the same mm? when you find yourself you find the source energy and then you are reconnected with the divine and here you have the cats they like this shitty energy <laughs> you know this <laughs> not not this but this uh, um this swamp energy nine of swords like they are always lying on some kind of curry cross and being um like loving this energy so it's like going to the darkness feel the the power of the source feel this uh, it's like a sad tone to it something that's so beautiful that it's um, pain striking to your eyes something that's so sad that it becomes beautiful uh, and you see there's a lot of bridges here you want to build bridges to to other people and i think that eventually they will puzzle it together and you know the right kind of suitor will come along here with the last piece of your puzzle so don't be afraid of letting people go and uh, there will come others you have a lot of opportunities here but it might feel like you're dating like a lot of devils and that's fine just give them your teaching and move on um try to see if they're receptive to uh, to 
some spiritual work or to do things connecting with you and, and, and work it out together because this is not they are not like uh, evil they are just scared uh, but don't don't see the good in the perpetrator don't try to forgive them uh, but just see what they are going through so you know so you don't have to um paint off up an awful picture of a person that's all authority all power and have the power to to um, to wreck your life they don't they don't uh, it's only if you give it to them uh you can free yourself from this energy uh you you don't have to to live in it here sever the bonds from this uh with this energy it might be a good idea like at least until they wants to you know add to the mix and not just stealing from you this is um a vampire love <laughs> you have here so vibrational energy oracle cards why so many <laughs> okay i will i will try again because i can't read for you forever con cancer <laughs> it's not going to work oh that's much better thank you uh, so moonbeam filled waterfalls this is a lovely card and it's talking about this that things that are so beautiful that they they hurt uh, moon beamed waterfalls there it is uh, moon beam filled waterfalls um, the sight of moonbeams shining on a waterfall is spectacular it captures the vibration of both light and sound in perfect harmony to the earth's rhythm yes yet we can get melancholy and feel disheartened in an emotional wave of dark sadness let this wave flow over you like water washing away the emotion and releasing your soul to beauty and purity of life in synchronicity uh, pain is um, a beautiful gift because it's just frequencies it's just you being reminded that there's a connection with the source and you can reconnect with it you don't have to run you know like a crazy maniac to get away from it stay with it it's your it's your superpower <laughs> your cancer uh, so this was your reading cancer intense and uh, i hope it was helpful and uh, uh, i hope you will join me again for the uh, late november reading that i will um i will do in the beginning of november okay so welcome back then and uh, take really, really good care. Okay, bye-bye.